It's wonderful to be back here at DLD. I find this conference every January here in Munich to be a source of inspiration and hope. And given the state of the world today, I think we could all benefit from a heavy dose of optimism. At Benevolent, we have this message that glows in neon on our wall in our entry lobby. It says, because it matters. It shines brightly and inspires and unites us in a shared purpose. It defines and guides everything that we do. We believe that unconventional thinking with, combined with purposeful technology can truly change outcomes in the world. And that is what I'd like to talk to, with you about this morning. Our mission is to tackle one of the biggest challenges facing humanity today. And that is there are 9,000 diseases that have no treatment. And there are over 300 million people living and suffering from rare diseases for which no treatment will ever be developed so long as the current economic and development models persist. And while so many industries have been transformed by technology, why does it still cost $2.5 billion to take a new drug from discovery to FDA approval and 10 to 15 years before it's given to patients? And in terms of efficacy of the top-selling drugs, 30 to 50 percent do not work in the patients they're prescribed for. How can it be that these metrics are acceptable? How can we be failing patients on such a catastrophic level? That's because the scaled innovation and advancements, which are the hallmarks of disruptive technologies, have yet to have real impact on the development of new treatments for disease. Now, all of us here today are fortunate. We live in a time when we'll most likely live well into our 90s far beyond what we ever imagined when we were kids. But while we may live longer, we can also expect to spend our later years unwell. And that has big consequences for the economy and society. Chronic diseases such as Alzheimer's and diabetes are already placing an unprecedented burden on families. Now roughly eight out of 10 elderly people suffer from these diseases. And many of us have lived through the agonizing experience of someone we love suffering from a type of cancer or a disease that has no treatment. And if that disease is not a candidate for a blockbuster drug, there won't be a medicine developed for it anytime soon. Now, when someone you love is diagnosed with a devastating disease, this reality hits home. Your life is suddenly turned completely upside down. You become an amateur clinician. You read every article, every journal. You spend every moment online studying results from clinical trials, surgical methods, treatment protocols, and pain management. You engage with, with anyone who has a point of view in search of that one nugget of information that might change the prognosis or point you in the direction of a novel treatment. But all too often, there is no help to be found. This has to change. Because in this case, failure is not a failure of will. It's not driven by a lack of desire or a lack of commitment of those who work in this field. It's caused primarily by two factors. The first is that human biology is incredibly complex. The human body represents a living, breathing, big data system with over 37 trillion cells. It's a product of millions of years of evolution and infinite numbers of factors and permutations. Combine that with the fact that in the biomedical domain alone, there are more than 10,000 scientific papers published every single day, plus countless data sources in the public domain, including patents, chemical databases, and clinical trials. And you quickly realize it's impossible for even the most learned scientists and research teams to keep up, let alone process the wealth of information that exists and that might be relevant. That's a massive human limitation, but it represents a perfect machine learning opportunity. Furthermore, disease has traditionally been diagnosed by its symptoms or its location in the body, not by its underlying molecular mechanisms, pathways, or biological processes specific to a specific patient, which is why, frankly, medicines that are prescribed often don't work for the patients that receive them. So our mission as a business is to unlock the potential of the vast corpus of data turning it from information that overwhelms us to knowledge that can inspire the discovery and development of new medicines that work for the patients that need them. We use the power of AI to unlock novel relationships, create new knowledge, and we employ that knowledge in the service of our mission, 
to disrupt and remake the way medicines are developed so that no disease goes untreated. We have developed the world's leading AI-powered drug discovery and development platform to accelerate the journey from data to medicine. It helps research teams and scientists navigate the scale of data that has previously been impossible to process and comprehend. Our inference algorithms and models help uncover new insights and knowledge to discover and develop more effective medicines faster than ever before. Now, we started with an audacious goal, to create the world's largest biomedical knowledge base, and that's precisely what we've done. Five years on, the benevolent knowledge graph contains over a billion contextualized machine curated relationships, more than a third of which are proprietary, developed to guide the process of validating hypotheses and experiments. Together, these biological facts represent all that is, all that is known to be true about a disease. Our algorithms, algorithms analyze this vast corpus of data, reason um, across it, and provide scientists with research capabilities beyond human insight. We ingest millions of chemical structures and use state-of-the-art AI to create the largest drug-like chemical space to facilitate the design of, of the right molecule for the right patient. And we build a suite of tools that make this output interoperable and actionable by scientists. The result is an automated platform that powers target ID to define the underlying cause of disease, molecular design to develop the most effective medicine to treat that disease, and patient stratification to understand how individual patients will respond to that treatment. So our ambition is great and our purpose is clear, but we recognize that no business can revolutionize a sector of the scale of drug development all on its own. To change the status quo of the way medicines are discovered and developed and to substantially reduce costs and ensure treatments are more effective for patients, we need a dramatically different approach. So in addition to our commercial collaborations, we believe we must be benevolent ourselves. This means that we are not going to use the technology to harvest and ring fence information, but to plan, we plan to open our platform and make it available to academics, researchers, and scientists, not for the benefit of a few, but to enrich us all. Benevolent is the most remarkable company I've ever had the privilege to be part of. Of all the ventures that I've been involved with since I began my career 30 years ago in Silicon Valley, this is the most exciting and ambitious, but by far it's also the most principled. And let's face it, as AI empowers the next wave of technological advancement, we need moral leadership and strong conviction to ensure that what we develop benefits everyone. At Benevolent, we have 200 biologists, chemists, engineers, informaticians, data scientists, working in radical cross-functional squads to push the boundaries of AI, to unlock the power of decades of research, to understand the underlying cause of disease and develop new treatments for the millions of patients who need them. We do it to disrupt and remake the way drugs are discovered and developed. We do it to benefit humanity, and we do it because it matters. Thank you.